Hey everyone, and let's talk about the big news, the Triumph Scrambler 1200. So I'm going to split this video into two different parts. If you already know about all the details on this bike, you can skip ahead to my thoughts on it. There's a link in the description, the time that you can just jump right to it. So diving into the, uh, the bike, they're going to have two versions, the XC and the XC. The XC is going to be more the road, off-road version, and then the XC being the more extreme for off-road capabilities. Uh, basically it means the XC has more suspension travel. We'll, we'll go into a comparison of, of the two different bikes uh, in, in greater detail in a second. It's gonna have a 1200cc engine, same uh, engine in the Thruxton and the T120, but in the bobber, but tuned, uh, tuned for the Scrambler. Low end, better low end torque. Uh, it's gonna make 89 horsepower, which is a lot more than this little guy here. Both versions have a 21 inch front and a 17 inch rear. They're running tubeless tires with spoked rims, which is great. No more fussing with tubes. Both have Brembo dual disc front brakes and a floating rear caliper from Brembo as well. Both have Showa upside down forks and Olin's rear suspension developed supposedly just for the Scrambler 1200. Although uh, the XE does have more suspension travel. It's going to have a TFT display that's going to show you all kinds of uh, jazz, kind of like the Tiger. It has turn-by-turn -turn directions from Google Maps incorporated, and as well as the ability to control a GoPro, which is pretty nifty. As well as five rider modes for the XC and six rider modes for the XE. Weight's impressive. Weight's about the same as this bike, but with extra features, so I, that's good as far as I'm concerned. Looks the part, and performance-wise, looks like it's going to be great. Triumph leaves in it so much that they're going to let Ernie Vigil race the Baja 1000 on one. So that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting to see. Taking a moment to compare the two versions, the XC has more suspension travel, which also means a higher seat height. It weighs slightly more, has an extra riding mode, and comes with some extra features, such as heated grips. Of course, this will all come at a step up in price as well. Prices haven't been announced yet, but we should see them in December. The Scrambler 1200 seems to be hit or miss for most people. Either they love it or they hate it. The ones who don't like it seem to be more focused on a smaller, lighter Scrambler or how a bike like this will never compete with a modern dirt bike. Now, as far as seeing a lighter Scrambler, maybe when Triumph starts having bikes with that India deal and you start seeing bikes that are under 500 cc's, those of you who are wishing for that may get it then. And those of you that... The big fuss is that it's not a dirt bike. Of course it's not a dirt bike. It's not going to be marketed as a dirt bike. It's not a dirt bike. I, you know, I just don't, I don't really think there's anyone out there who thinks it will compete with a dirt bike. But where it will compete is in the adventure bike category. And so for me, this looks like a hit. Granted, I do have my complaints, which pretty much are all cosmetic. Mainly comes down to all the aluminum that I'd rather just have painted black. I mean, aluminum's great. I just... Can we paint it or powder coat it black? <laughs> That's my only... I just want more black. I don't want all the silver. I also don't see the need for the tank strap. It looks like the tank is indented for it, so you can't just remove the strap because then you have a little, you know, indent for the tank. I don't know. I, I just wish the, I wish the strap was an accessory for those of you who want it. <laughs> I don't personally need it. And, you know, the tank colors are growing on me. I'm not crazy about them. Uh, I, I do kind of like the more plain tanks i'm i'm boring in that regard at least for a scrambler uh the black and the green are fine from the for the xc version i just wish they didn't have the tank strap and that line going down but you know to be honest the xe version tanks are are growing on me i do kind of really like that white one the white with the green stripe down the side where it hits a home run for me is all in the performance at least on paper the powerful engine, the suspension travel, keeping the weight down. Uh, this is all great to me. It's comparable to Triumph's own Tiger 800 XCA or the Honda Africa Twin. You can see weight-wise, they're all about, they're all in the same, you know, they're all around each other. And power-wise, it's going to be similar. But you can see the suspension travel on the XE Scrambler is, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty good in, in comparison. And especially when you, th when you think about the sea height which is tall but not that tall so you know i th i think that's pretty impressive but of course it's going to come down to how does it actually ride com you know compared to them i have ridden a tiger before i haven't ridden an africa twin um, i want to if anyone from honda's listening and uh, 
you know, so I, I do want to see how it compares uh, against the, the Tiger. But um, when you compare the Scrambler 1200 to some of the adventure bikes out there, the Scrambler is way more pleasing to my eyes. You know, I was already considering an adventure bike as my next, as my second bike, since I travel so much. But honestly, I might get another Scrambler now. Uh, there's no, no way I'm replacing mine. I've said it before, I have way too many miles on it, and I love it too much. I've done too much with it. I would just throw on some less aggressive tires, and it would be, you know, full-on 100% street bike, like it really should be. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so far, I'm, I'm digging this. I, I really want to see more about it. I want to hear some ride reviews. I want to get a chance to uh, throw my leg over and, and give it a test ride myself. But it could be the motorcycle that I take around the world. Only a test ride will tell. Thanks for watching. This is my perspective as a street scrambler owner. I'm going to throw it over to Peter Strusel so we can get an opinion as an air-cooled scrambler owner. His video, once it's available, will be in the top oh, yeah. left. His page is in the bottom left corner. Your left, not stage left. Click on it and give it a check. If the video is not up yet, just click on his page and subscribe. He's taking his uh, air-cooled scrambler all over the place, so he's definitely worth watching if you haven't seen him before. I watched all his videos while I was patiently waiting for my bike that was on pre-order. So make sure you check him out, okay? Take care and scramble on.